we're talking about are um, after you've entered. You, know, you have to do the tapping. If he's coming at me and he's slashing and thrusting, I have to do this kind of stuff because this is what keeps me, allows me to be able to slow it down well enough to be able to get into a position where I can get control. Um, because uh, uh, unfortunately you can't stay and you have to have that skill to be able to catch the arm and slow it down and get into as one of these positions we're talking about. Um, uh, but you also cannot uh, disarm very effectively, hit very effectively, uh, uh, lock very effectively, draw your blade very effectively if what you're trying to do is tap out here. So think of it as two stages. Um, the first stage is I'm tapping here and I'm looking for the right time because it's fast here, right? We all know this is incredibly fast and, and it's very elusive. So the whole time I'm looking for, and then finally I tap into a position where I feel like, oh, now I may have missed that first one. And I'm like, oh, no, what? oh, crap. And so now I'm trying to hit, I'm trying to do something, but I haven't quite got it. So it's all this very slippery, oh, finally there it is, right? And, and now from, from all these positions, now I can go, okay, where you go, okay, and grab a blade, you know, uh, where I can pass him through and get an arm drag, drag him to the ground, you know, and try to lay his hand, do whatever it is that I want to do. But uh, uh, from that, from these positions, you know, it's not going to be static at all. It's going to be very flowing, you know, it's going to be uh, very dynamic. Um, so, but you gotta have a way to get into it because you can't just go like this. <laughs> I wish you could, right? But you're gonna have to tap it, tap into a control structure. So as he comes in, I'm like here, oh, there, there it is. And so now there's my first control structure. And and from here he's already thinking, oh, there it is. So back, there it is again. See? So uh, and so it's just gonna happen like that. It's gonna be really slippery. And you're probably not gonna catch the first one and the second one. But it's better than trying to go like this. And trying to draw a blade here or draw uh, or get a hit here. Because what happens generally is I need, if you've done any real tap tapping at all, you find out I need my hands plus two grill chucks to really save myself from tapping. Right? Uh, just my two hands alone is not, not quite enough because he can tap and clear and jam and do things and, and all that stuff is really, really binds me up. So um, to take half my team and put it in a, back on the bench to draw a blade, this is a nightmare of a distance, right? Or to go like this, you know, it's just, uh, just a bad plan. So you can do things in route and you can do things, and we, we do teach that, uh, that there are things you can do you know, in route, and a lot of systems have this kind of stuff. Um, but you can't think that an eye jab is going to slow the guy down and let the, make the disarm easier, right? If I eye jab a guy who's trying to stab me, do you think he becomes more animated or less? More. More, more you know? Uh, he doesn't just like, oh, and then suddenly calm down and get slower, right? <laughs> he, that's not the way it really works. You know, it's the same thing, no matter what I'm doing, I don't slap the guy in the groin and the guy just suddenly, you know, pauses, you know? Um, uh, you know, there are good pauses that happen in combat, but there are much more grievous wounds, you know. Um, so uh, it's not like you're just going to slap the guy, tap the guy, jab him in the eye, jab him in the throat, hit him in the groin, uh, and slow him down where you can get his arm. It doesn't get easier, even with your hitting, unless you stun the guy. Unless you, like, crack him with an elbow or a good shot, and that's boom, and right then, that's when you can catch that. So, and that is easier to do from one of these positions that we're working on. Make sense? Yes, sir. Than it is out here where you're tapping. Problem is, unless you can tap, you can't get to these positions I'm talking about. Make sense? Yes, sir. So you got to go through phase one to learn how to tap. Um, and phase two uh, is teaching how to be more controlled. Okay? Um, so, from this position, we're just going to take, we're going to look at a couple different options here. Bang, down, fold, here, up, underneath, back to this position. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and let it come back up over the top, and we're going to slip, slip into a side control position here. Boom, okay? Now, I can do my Muay Thai curve knee. Right? But what's going to happen right here when I do my Muay Thai curve knee is he's going to get his arm in the way. He's going to get his, his blade in the way. And I'm going to bang. That's not going to be fun. 
Okay, so you're going to do stuff short and sweet. Uh, knees are, should just be like from the tip of your toe. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so, but that's all I'm really working on. If I pick my leg up here and start doing this stuff, which you want, you'll know, want to do, uh, you'll just run into your thing, and next thing you know, you can't pick your leg up, you can't figure out why. Right? And then you fall down. Okay, so just roll it off the toe. Bang, like that. Like that. Real little short little shots. Uh, and the key to keeping this position is that I keep my left elbow and the elbow in the rear down, my right elbow up and here like this. But if I'm not careful, this position is not completely stable because he can curve thrusting around his head into my head. Okay? So, but he's going to break down by pushing down his elbow and break that down. When I feel that, I'm going to roll right back to this position. With me? Sure. Okay, the next position he's going to, if he goes high, we already experienced this. Yeah, you're right. If he goes high, that's when I hinge. The next one is he goes low. He comes through here and breaks down through here. And that's when I'm going to cross and carry into my arm drag position. So now, the thing about this position is people will want to chain and punch. Which you can do if you're, if you're on and, he, and if he's not, maybe. But you go like this, and I go here like this, and he's going to try to pull his elbow back, which he can do. But I can also end up doing this. Right? My arm's not working. Oh, you know, that's what it looked like. That's what, that's what happens is people go, wham! <laughs> and and they, they really can't figure out why their arm's not working. You see people in accidents all the time. You know, accidents all the time. And they're trying to do stuff and they're like, and then they look down and their arm's all tore off and they're like, oh, that's why it's not there. Okay, so so from this position, when I come, on, I come underneath the top, uh, underneath the bottom here, you have to be careful. Uh, not to shear your arm because he's going to intentionally put that up there to, uh, to break your plexus or bicep stop and things like that. Okay? <laughs> so from the beginning. Hit. Hold. Roll. Over. Under here. Hitting. Hacking. Boom, boom, boom. Back to here. He comes over the top again. There's a side control. He breaks the elbow down. I'm immediately going to tap back. He goes low, thrust back up. My arm drag back to his. Got it? All right. Good. Good. From here like this, he drops down and breaks into my wrist. So if he tries to push out here, that's what this is designed to stop. Right? So if he drops down and comes underneath it, he can break my hand off. So what I'm going to do is swing it through here like this. Okay? Let's change that sound. So again, here. He breaks down on top off. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it and go to the seat belt. Okay? Now, he may want to reach for that hand, and you can stop him from doing that. Just by wrapping over your shoulder and lifting your elbow. I still have the seat belt, it's not great, but I have much better control over here. Okay, if I go like this and I feel it's getting squirrely, I'm just gonna start doing this right here, <laughs> with the backwards. Okay? So, you got it? Sir. So that last one here, if you break down that top lock, I swing a push, you get my seat belt. And then I can start stripping, I can actually mobilize it, hold it like that. So here like this. Now he's mine. Yeah. Sir. Sir. Okay, we'll finish from there. Okay? Yes, sir. sir.